so today i'll speak about water purification we have seen slow sand filtration and rapid sand filtration okay so what i am going to tell you today is motivation from slow sand filtration and rapid sand filtration this is a new concept so anything what happens in your life or anything what you read or anything what you come across you should think in a multiple way to explore your mind let it be anything what you see if you go out and you see something you should see with one angle then try to think the same thing with the different angle it will explores your mind and it will give a new perspective and that what i am going to do now we have seen that i will go according to what we have seen okay what we have seen there is uh, like uh, rapid sand filtration in rapid sand filtration we have seen the water is first subjected to the chemical treatment and then that water after chemical treatment is allowed in the sedimentation tank and then from sedimentation tank that is allowed in the proper filtration tank and then in the filtration tank there is a percolation of a water until it has to pass through the various levels of the gravels and sand and then it has to pass to the bottom and then it is filtered from the perforated pipes to the exterior where the exterior pipe is provided with the wall and that controls now what motivation you will get and what i felt there is some point that we must think about it we can get lesson from it and what type of a lesson that i felt that i am going to explain to you now the water which is dirty water that is subjected for purification how the water is purified similarly your thoughts could be purified because the water gets the source from which the water rises that is only rain and that rain source is a pure water and this pure water when it come in contacts with the multiple dirt and dust then it becomes impurified or contaminated or become dirty similarly in our life when we born we born pure our soul was pure when we get when we come across with certain pollutants in our society in our in beginning from the home from your peer group from school from society we grow in a polluted climate and that pollution we attract and we tends to become impure in that impurities we get since birth that impurities we have to remove we have to return to the god in the pure self as we had born got it now how we can purify ourselves this is the motivation now that dirt then subjected to what chemical treatment so what chemical treatment you require chemical treatment means what we make that water to come in contact with something that will purify and what something means something means you to whom you accompany with whom you accompany with whom you hang out throughout the day that changes actually your life the five people you are what the five people that surrounds you the five friends that surrounds you and that remain with you with you whom you hang out for 24 hours that makes your thought your thoughts are nothing but the thoughts of that five people 
if you analyze yourself what you speak is not you speak but you speak from their thoughts so if our company is pure they have a capability to purify us means if they are if we come in contact with those who are, has a capacity to purify us then we will become purified are you getting means we must accompany those who have a better knowledge than us those who have a good morals those who have a good thoughts those who ha- are motivated self motivated and they are having some goal to achieve that goal or they have gain something in their life so that you can get inspiration from them and you can purify yourself your thoughts as the alum purifies water similarly after that what we do we allow that water to enter into the sedimentation tank and where the settling of the impurities that takes place what settling of the impurities means that is settling of impurities takes around 24 hours to 5 to 7 days to it becomes clear means what if we are in emotion of something we have to be silent then our emotion becomes silent our emotion settles down i mean to say when we become angry and then we keep silent doesn't speak anything and sit in the corner reflecting over ourselves and reflecting over him that what he has done is wrong but i will bear it there is nothing that was his choice and my choice is different my choice is in my hand so how to respond respond and how to react is in my hand so he has done his job but now it is my duty whether to get hurt whether to respond or to react it's my duty so allow yourself a time to settle your impurities your thoughts your rage your emotion so whenever anything you come across of bad emotions then be quiet for some period of a time give it time to settle the ripples the ripple will settle someone has thrown a stone into the silent streamline water then there are ripples these ripples doesn't long last this settles down got it similarly in our life also the ripples may arise the people may throw stone and they are waiting they are lurking in the ambush to throw a stone upon you so that your mind get disrupted they are waiting for that but don't react to what they are doing and remember that ripples shall pass they are timing they are transient you know after that 